guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames and in this video we're gonna talk about yay mr yeezy the one and only big man himself but before we get into this video let me address this again because i've been observing that once a few of you not much right it's just a handful of you guys once you see the title you assume what is being said and your comments are so far off i can tell that you didn't even watch the video not even for three minutes okay so if you're busy at this point give yourself some time be patient with yourself and when you're available you come back you watch the video and you leave your comments because far too many comments are saying stuff that i didn't say have no idea of saying and sometimes you guys ask questions and all the information and explanation has been included in the video okay so let's keep it cute keep it real now let's move on to mr yeezy himself because guess what that's who we're here to talk about honey because there's one thing that we know for a fact and that is who oh, god bless no man curse right i've seen a few people in my comments saying that ye made promises to them and uh, these people have been coming in my comment section for the past few months saying that ye had made promise to them and now those people have turned bitter angry and they're just they're just trolling in the comment section please note that if you and ye had some conversation i don't know what is going on there and you cannot come to my page to vent and tell lies and all of that it's not gonna help you if anything it's gonna make you look crazy so just try and handle things the best way that you can and always try to put the best version of yourself out there also if you've been messaging me on instagram facebook I don't have the time to sit and talk with everyone who reaches out to me because I have content to make for you guys. So if I don't sit and talk to you on Instagram and Facebook, it doesn't mean that you should be declaring war against me in my comment section. I'm a human being. I have a personal life and I love making content if you can't tell. So let's keep it cute. Let's keep it sweet. Let's keep it real and know that i am a busy woman okay okay no you know that's a lot and i must apologize but it had to be said let's talk about yay because yesterday we have observed that you know with twitter they've been banning on banning banning on banning banning on banning kanye's account and you know my subscribers i have a lot of you guys who watches in the bush and when i say in the bush those people will never comment but when i tell you that those people they have my back like those guys they have my back like none other so you know some of them have been updating me and this morning it was finally confirmed that years account it has been unbanned because yesterday it went through a series of events today it is officially on twitter as a business domain which means that when ye comes back to social media it will never ever be like it was before kim will not be getting his time patience nor attention it's not going to be about his kids it's not going to be about his personal life honey it's going to be all about business so kanye west is on twitter on bad but officially as a business domain so we can tell that Ye is working on himself he's getting all the mentorship all the help all the recommendations that he needs many of us you know we know that you know what Ye said was um nothing for anyone to you know ban him for and i'm gonna keep it real but at the same time i also have to understand that 
people were hurt by it. People feelings were hurt. And we cannot tell a group of people not to feel hurt. But those group of people, they can definitely tell the black community every day, you all must learn to forgive. You all must learn to forget. But can we tell them to forgive and to forget? Heck no. Because guess what? Black people are the only ones capable of forgiving and forgetting. That is how everyone make it seems, right? Because every time something goes wrong, you know, people aren't willing to come together and say, let's debate. Let's see what's going on with our brother. The color of his skin doesn't matter. Clearly something is going on. And if we care about each other as we should, as a religious group, what we're going to do, we're not going to outcast this man. We're not going to throw him down because the reality is he does work with a group of Jewish people. He is still friends with them. He still provides job with them. And he even went as far as supporting their businesses. The last thing he did after breaking up with Cheney because his actions was disrespectful to her and he wanted to apologize to her. He bought her a rare Birkin from a Jewish dealer. And I'm not talking about a drugs dealer. It's a Jewish guy that, you know, sources rare designer items such as Birkin. And this guy was like, you know what? I know Ye means well, and I know he's going through something, and everyone keeps attacking him for anti-Semitism. So I'm going to use this money to fight against political anti-Semitism because that's where the real problem is. And too many people are using Ye as an excuse. And that is something that I truly appreciate. So we can tell that, you know, a lot of things that is being put out there about this man. It's not factual. But if you don't know, if you don't take the time out to look at things and say, is this making sense? How is it making sense? Right? You would be brainwashed to believe that. Just imagine, they're telling you this man, he doesn't like black people. They're telling you the same man doesn't like Jewish people. They're telling you the same man is disrespectful to white people. So who does this man like? Right? And that's where you start breaking down the layers and say, is any of this even making sense? Not because you may choose to marry a white woman or an Australian. You know, it doesn't mean that he doesn't like black women because we have to look at his dating history. He has been with black women. He is engaged to them. But something happened during his journey that made him switch. Just like black women. There's so many black women who, who are telling you today, unapologetically, they will never date a black guy again because they've been hurt and burnt too much. So why is it it's okay for black queens to be getting the royal treatment from white men, but it's not okay for our black kings to be getting the royal treatment from white women? I consider most of these things to be double standards, you know. We don't look at facts. We love to go by fake narratives, the lies, instead of looking looking at all the facts, looking at all the details that is there. We don't even have to listen to the media because listen, I've been following the media. I've been breaking down the media and I can tell you that more than 90% of the times the media, the media reports fake news and lies. And we've spoken about all of it, right? So, I've seen people coming to my channel telling me you shouldn't be defending this man. He doesn't like black people. And the reality is it is black people who doesn't like this man for the most part because he has so many people, you know, his own race working with him. And when you hear about someone suing him, more than 90% of the times, it's a black man who was paid to tell a lie on him. The lawsuits aren't even making sense. And we're not looking at those little details. But once this, man's, this man does something that is something that you wouldn't do or that I wouldn't do as an individual, he's an outcast. He's crazy. His medication dose needs to be adjusted. He needs to be institutionalized. 
You need to understand that we're not robots. We cannot be programmed. And ain't nothing more beautiful in this world than a free thinker. If we just learn to be our authentic self at the end of the day, there would be less people with mental challenges, depression, needing for validation. Just learn to tap into yourself, awaken yourself, awaken your soul, awaken your spirit so that you can reach your full potential and not be led. You're not an animal. You're not a sheep. You don't need a master to lead you. Be the own author and architect of your life. You don't need anyone to tell you what to do, tell you when to do it or how to do it. And this is the thing about Ye that is upsetting to a lot of people. And the reality is America don't like black billionaires who have influence and power. Once you're black, once you're a billionaire, once you have influence, once you've got power, once you've got a legacy, they're going to come after you. It's not ifs. It's not buts. It's not maybe. We have seen it. Are you telling me that Bill Cosby is guilty on all those allegations? Okay. What about Michael Jackson? Is he guilty on all those allegations? Okay. What about Prince? What did he do? Right? And you may look at Jay-Z and um, P. Diddy. And you may say, but what about P. Diddy and Jay-Z? Just give it time. You will see exactly what happens to those two. I'm not praying for it. It is a trend. It is a pattern. It is a history. And even Ice Cube has realized it. And that is why he is now speaking out. And that is why he reconciled his relationship with his brother, Ye. Because Ice Cube has a basketball team. And he's been, he's been locked out because as a black man, you should not have certain legacy in America. Akon realized this very early and he said, you know what? I'm going back to my country because America is not for black billionaires. Akon is not perfect by any means, but he woke up and he realized the agenda. And I didn't come here to preach today to you guys. It just it happened. You know, I started out this video wanting you all to know that Ye is back on Twitter and he's there as a business, which means that there are certain things that we're not going to see on social media from him again. And it's sad. He's going to come back. He's going to tweet about, you know, his clothing, his business. And maybe occasionally we may get some educational quotes, etc. But based on what I'm seeing, we're not going to get that funny guy on social media anymore. We may catch him in an interview. We may catch him with a fan having a dialogue. But as it relates to social media, because of how much damage was done to him without any fear justice, anyone debating to say, let's talk about it. We may not get that fun loving nature guy ever on social media again, but like hell, no one can take that moment away from him. So we're going to definitely see it in interviews with fans, you know, having one on one with him, but definitely not on social media because what has happened in the past. And that's all I have to say about that. See you all in my next video. Bye guys.